Today we will be talking about the upcoming Green Power Race, some random scholarships, and a New Year's theme question of the week. All this and more coming up on this episode of Jack and News Network. Live from Studio 254, it's the Jack and News Network. <laughs> to another episode of the Jack and News Network. Each week we deliver school and community news to you from room 254 of Oxford High School. I'm Ethan Wright. And I'm Quincy Smith. Let's get started. Let's take a look about what's been happening for the Green Power team. Twenty-one miles per hour. Here comes Liberty 8 and 305. Twenty-one miles per hour. So what is Green Power? Um, well, it's a after-school activity where you, well, they also have classes for it. You can, you learn a lot of skills like engineering skills and also racing skills. And you basically build and maintain these cars that you can then race at events. What do you enjoy about Green Power? Um, well, I like going to races. Like race days are fun. Um, I really like just working on the cars. And I like doing, I just, I just like working on the cars. What was the last event you guys did for Green Power? The last race we went to was the Santa Sprints in Columbus. <laughs> but the last like event we did, just broad event, was actually our ring ceremony where we got our national championship rings from last year. How are you feeling about the next races to come? Um, feeling pretty good. Uh, we're making some minor adjustments to let them run better, but feeling pretty good. Be sure to show some support for your Green Power team. Now to Emily for the weather. Did anyone else survive their block lunch? I mean, like, oh, am I on? Ugh. Welcome to JNN 0254. My name is Emily Byrne, and I'll be reporting the weather for this week. Let's check it out. Looks like we got a lot of clouds this week and showers on, on Tuesday. Highs starting in the low 40s and rising to the 60s, and lows as cold as 27 degrees and rising to the lower 50s. Mr. Span has issued a tornado watch until 3 o'clock p.m. It got very dark and stormy in a devastatingly short time. We have Tylus on the scene. Tylus? Get seared, boy. Huh. All that water. Oh, man. Bad over there. Somebody, hey, hey, call your parents. And call your folks. School over with. School is done for. Get. Ah, uh, now, nah, don't. Time to go. Thanks, Tylus. Very cool. Let's hope the storm eases before dismissal. This is JNN 0254, your school weather channel. Back to you, Quincy. Thanks, Emily. Let's take a look at this, new, this week's New Year's themed question of the week. Boys are back in town, baby. We got prizes. We got prizes we're gonna give out. We wanna know what your New Year's resolution is. And 
You know what really grinds my gears, Lucas? I hear that people still don't watch JNN or Question of the Week. Well, it's not JNN anymore. It's not Question of the Week anymore. It's 97.9 VOK's Question of the Week. So you guys watching right now, tell all your friends, all your buddies, all your family members, whoever, tell your dog they need to watch Question of the Week. Especially 97.9 VOK Question of the Week with today's best hits. The best of the best hits. All right, here we go. Jack, what's your uh, New Year's resolution? I don't have one. Well, can't ever stick to one. Well, tell me what's different about this Jack, 2023 Jack, from 2022 Jack. Uh, this Jack has diabetes. Oh. Uh, what about, like, what's the best thing about you that you've changed so far this year? I haven't changed anything. Okay. I'm still in it. You're just perfect the way you are. You're still living life? Yeah, still living That's life. That's good. So, what's the difference between 2023 and 2022? Uh, just a new year. Numbers. <laughs> the two and the three. Wait, here. Merry New Year. <laughs> Merry New Year. What's your uh, uh, New Year's resolution? To do better in math. Uh, what What's the difference between 2023 Anna and 2022 Anna? A day, I guess. Okay. Well, you get a prize. Congratulations. Thank you. So here we are outside of the green power room. We're waiting to get Connor Heaton because, you know, I made a promise that I would get him on the show. You hear this, Mr. Heaton? We're coming for you. We're not going to stop until you're on JNN. He's very, he's eluded us this long. Let's hope it won't last. And now we wait. He's trapped. Connor's trapped. Let's go get him. You're not running now. Finally got you. So, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, to pass AP Physics. It's a good resolution. It's a good resolution. You doing good in accomplishing that? Uh. Not really. I have like an 87 in there. Sorry, Miss Parker. Miss Parker would be disappointed. She would. She probably looks at me every time I walk in class. Man, you need to get the 87 up. You should. Got to get to a 97. 97? Then got to get it to 100. That's hard. But then it wouldn't be AP if it wasn't hard. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. That was awkward. So what's your New Year's resolution for this year? Am I supposed to have one? What, what's your favorite radio station to listen to? Oh, 93.7.9 Vox. Be okay. I don't know what it says, Vox. That's close enough. Here, you get a prize. Oh, thank you so much. Spread the word. Tell your friends to listen to 97.9 Be Okay with the best hits. Today's best hits. The big Nobody hit. else, just them. Luke, so speaking of 2023, what you been thinking about, like, any resolutions you got for this year? Uh... Just uh, improve question of the week. Yes, it I'm can be. I'm hoping we can get a lot more guests, a lot more surprises in store. So you guys stay tuned. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but the, the um, segment's over. So, but remember, tell your friends, watch 97.9 VOK question of the week, and listen to 97.9 VOK on the radio. Today's biggest hits. So, uh, Lucas, what's your New Year's resolution? I don't know. Just make it through 2023. I mean, yeah. Maybe. We're, we're all, we all got to make it through 2023, so stay tuned. Like I said, stay tuned. Wow, amazing. Yeah, great. Anyways, let's go over to Christian and TJ for this week's athletics. What's up, Jackets? I'm TJ. And I'm Christian. Let's get started. First for Indoor Track. Last Saturday, Indoor Track opened up their season at the Icebreaker Invitational. Several athletes placed in the top 15 in their events. Indoor Track will next compete at the Martin Luther King Invitational next Monday at the Birmingham College Race from 7.30 to 12. Please come out and support. Now for girls basketball. 
Girls played Monday against Spring Garden and lost with a score of 56 to 46. They will play an area game against Gaston City Friday at 6 o'clock. Make sure you wish them luck. Now for boys basketball. Boys basketball will also play an area game Friday versus Gaston City at 7.30. The boys are 1-0 in area play, hopefully winning their game Friday to be 2-0 in area play. If you see them, make, their, make sure to wish them luck. And that's all we have for athletics this week. Back to you. Thanks, guys. As all students know, college can be very expensive. So we compiled a list of some odd scholarships for our viewers to try out. more information on these scholarships, visit their websites. That's all we have for this week of the Jack and News Network. Be sure to check back here weekly for more episodes. Also, follow us at OHS Jack and Media on all of our socials. Stay up to date on all that is happening at Oxford High School. Have a good week and go, go Big, Big O! o.